Back in the 1930s, Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky found an answer to a cosmic puzzle. Galaxies in the Coma Cluster were racing through space so fast they should have flown apart, yet something unseen held them together. This was the first clue to the existence of dark matter. Fritz Zwicky's concept of dark matter didn't catch on for decades because it was too outrageous to believe at the time. But by 1980, astronomer Vera Rubin uncovered compelling evidence of the invisible force at play making galaxies defy expectations. That invisible force? Dark matter, making up 85% of the total matter in the universe, accounting for five times as much as ordinary matter. And while dark matter is mysterious and elusive, it's also essential to understanding our universe, shaping everything from the tiniest particles to the evolution and formation of galaxies. That's why this year, the Vera C. Rubin Observatory site on Cerro Pachon in Chile, which is jointly funded by the U.S. National Science Foundation and the U.S. Department of Energy's Office of Science, received the 3200 megapixel Legacy Survey of Space and Time camera, or LSST camera for short. The purpose of this camera? to detect dark matter. Starting in 2025, the LSST camera will spend a decade taking exquisitely detailed images of the heavens with a field of view seven times wider than the moon. Over 10 years, the telescope will take 700 pictures at night, totaling around 20 terabytes of data a day. So if an ebook is about 2.6 megabytes, 20 terabytes is over 7.6 million ebooks. Over those 10 years, the telescope is expected to snap 40 billion cosmic objects, including billions of galaxies. The design of the LSST camera pushes the limits of optics and digital sensors, capturing the faintest glimmers of light from objects billions of light years away. And the creation of this camera took two decades at the Department of Energy's SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory in Menlo Park, California. Once completed in April of this year, the car-sized camera was secured in a custom-built container transported on a 747 cargo plane, and after multiple truck rides, it arrived at the Rubin Observatory. And while the LSST camera is housed in the Rubin Observatory, which sits high on a hill, there's also dark matter research being conducted in the opposite direction, underground. The Sanford Underground Research Facility, or SURF, is housed 4,850 feet beneath the Black Hills of South Dakota in a repurposed gold mine, shielded from cosmic radiation that interferes with sensitive experiments. Like explorers in the deep, researchers at SURF navigate through tunnels clad in protective gear, chasing after dark matter, which controls the universe's structure but remains invisible to the eye. Lux Zeppelin, or LZ, is the next generation dark matter experiment funded by the United States Department of Energy Office of Science located at SURF. LZ is a thermos that contains a little more than 10 metric tons of liquid xenon at the core. Researchers believe that when a dark matter particle collides with a xenon atom, it causes the atom to emit a faint flash of light to occur at the center of the xenon chamber, possibly indicating dark matter. You see, detecting a dark matter interaction is like trying to hear a single raindrop in the middle of a storm. To catch the sound of a single raindrop, you have to block out the noise from the storm. That's why LZ is placed deep underground to filter out cosmic rays that constantly bombard the planet, making it easier to spot the rare signals of dark matter. Dark matter remains one of the universe's greatest mysteries, challenging our understanding of physics. Leading projects like the LSST camera at the Bira C. Rubin Observatory and the Lux Zeppelin experiment at the Sanford Underground Research Facility aim to uncover its secrets. And together, these initiatives could reshape our understanding of dark matter and the universe at the same time. And if you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news.